In this video, we review three quick third skills. Now, if you're asked to simplify or work with thirds, then my advice is to always reflect on the square numbers. One times one is one, two times two is four, etc. Now I'm going to write down the first six or seven square numbers. Now, when you're asked to simplify a third, the real question you're being asked is, is what's the largest possible square number which goes into 75? Now, the largest possible one that goes into 75 is 25. And I can write this as the square root of 25 lots of 3. I then try to square root both these numbers separately. That's why I try to root 25, and I try to square root 3. However, I can actually work out what the square root of 25 is. It's 5. This is a decimal, so the answer is 5 lots of root 3. And this is a simplified third. Now, the context of this is when you're asked to add together two thirds. Now, this answer is not root 52. To do this, I need to simplify root 50 and also root 2 if possible. So, root 50 we know is square root of, biggest square factor. In 50 is again 25. So 25 times by 2. Again, try to square both numbers separately. And root of 25 is 5. So this becomes 5 root 2. So back to the original question. Root 50 is 5 root 2. This is basically 1 lot of root 2. So 5 lots of root 2 plus 1 lots of root 2 just equals 6 lots of root 2. The last skill involves fractions and thirds. There's a golden rule with this type of question. And the idea is to get the third away from the bottom of the fraction. And what we do is we multiply top and bottom of the fraction by the square root. Because something clever happens. Now, 10 root 6 is the top. And the bottom becomes root 6 times root 6 is square root of 6 times 6, which is 36. And I can work out what root of 36 is. It's just 6. So I found an equivalent fraction where the square root is now on the top rather than the bottom. Then to finish off, I look at the fraction and 10 sixths cancel down to 5 thirds. So it becomes 5 root 6 divided by 3. So again, we multiply the top and bottom by the third. And the posh name for this is to call is called the rationalize the denominator.